When you were gearing up to be comfortable with the words largest manufacturer of mid-sized motorcycles in the world, you lean on past learnings to make it happen. It's been our experience that each of our plants has informed the new one in the works. Everyone is using robots nowadays, but a Royal Enfield is built as much from a shared sense of ownership. Of course, in things like machining, fabrication, painting, we don't veer beyond a certain micron, and the best firms in the world are in the facility to ensure it. What's also working for us is that the people manning the machinery can pinpoint which of our motorcycles is gunning down the road just from their engine note. Quality and its measurement is on every line, every section throughout our works. Engine assembly is the sanctum. It has to be. There is no room for variables, no way in for a speck of dust. We punch well above our weight in chroming, pre-treating steel parts for chroming. Our chrome layer goes over four of nickel, unique in the industry. Painting. The part becomes a cathode and the base layer is applied through electro deposition. In layman terms, it sticks on stronger, which makes it tougher, more corrosion resistant. Decorative coats involve robotic arms, all from names in their field. We like to say we don't put out 30 unique shades, we finick them out. That said, the bullet since the day it first rolled out in 1932, still has its stripes hand-painted. Today, a future-minded view of manufacture is only prudent. And yes, while every automated process is recorded, second to second. And every Royal Enfield put to a 70-point pre-delivery inspection. What also bears telling is that the man who listens to their output has been in his job 19 years. This operation has never been about making a motorcycle any which way. This machine comes from a culture, from knowing it, from riding it, and from all of it being deeply ingrained through seven decades in one town. That's the Royal Enfield difference. That's the Royal Enfield way.